yeah now next step is we are going to do the inventory so once we receive the stock we have to start doing the inventory so here some few stuff we need to follow for the formal inventory so once you can just open the shopper main desktop here okay once you open the shopper desktop so the next time is we need to click auction option called goods inverse here you can able to see the stock goods inverse then it will show for the inventory then you can go for transaction type so mention the transaction type here you can just give had so mention the transaction name transaction name is purchase here it's showing supplier id you have to select supplier id how we are written it here like as well as and we need to select the sub vendor name for example i'm taking as a one of the vendor name called kavis pet marts so this is our one of the vendor and reason code you can just mention others here we need to enter after step is we need to enter the dc number for example dc number efm 85 sorry 845 is the transaction number and we need to enter also dc date dc date is for example the sub the builders on 15th we need to mention 15 11 2016 here few option is there so once we start doing the inventory here stock number whether we can using the scanner and barcode scanner and scanning either one more option is there so we can search by pressing f2 mention so this what product what brand they are sending so for example this is the pedigree they are supplying us we can mention on the bill as per the bill what is the serial number product so for example starter 1.2 they are giving us so you can mention one pedigree starter 1.2 kg how many builders 6 quantity 6 quantity and here too you need to you can able to see purchase price so purchase price in the sense what they build us what is the rate they are giving us so you can mention amount here for example 293.22 is the billing price here don't put anything so we can decide it later for the tax and all so again you can mention few, few more product you bought it from them so you can press f2 again same manner so for example chicken and milk puppy chicken and milk 3 kg here so there are so many options are there here you can check which is the product exactly so this is the puppy chicken and milk 3 kg it's a mark price 540 so this i have placed order for for quantity they build us for quantity you have, you have to mention in the same manner purchase price you again you have to mention as per the bill amount so 372.23 is the bill amount so like that you can mention similarly we take few more item so dentastics so this is one of the one more product so dentastic the billing us 10 quantity you mention like that 10 quantity and put the purchase by 62 rupees so like that but even though this company is supplying one more brand called viscous that also you have to select with ws is the brand code so here though we have placed for some item here 3 kg item they build us one of the product mackerel 3 kg i have placed order for two they build us two quantity here again we need to change the price in case if there is a price changes otherwise it will show default so this is default in the sense last time which uh, price they charge us so like that will show in the shopper so now it's what we are able to see that this is a previous purchase price in case if there is a price variation yeah then you have to change it if there is no price variation you can just mention tap 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 so this is like how we are going to do the inventory then once you have done that you have to check what is the tax value means percentage of tax we need to mention as per the invoice for this percentage of tax is 14.5 percent local tax you can just mention it and here though it will show document total so document total is 5629 so 5629 you can just so 0.11 paise is there 11 paise you can just minus this you can show it as a deduction so you have to mention document total and invoice total similarly you have to check the invoice value and the document should be match 
otherwise so there is a wrong in the inventory so here you can again see same thing we have followed the step we have to select the option like uh, brand name and you can put pedigree for the, your convenience you can search size examples also that also fine then mention the quantity and uh, document and both document actual quantity then purchase price in the same manner put a remaining product also after this we need to put the tax amount like how we i shown here so here the i shown 14.5 percent some of the product there is a 5.5 percent so that anyway they will uh, vendor they will mention it on the bill so we don't need to decide for anything like that so and after once you you done that you can just save the transaction before saving this transaction you need to check document total and uh, invoice total has to match as per that you what you are getting the original bill so then you can save the transaction so this is the step how we are going to do the inventory stop sharing